Commissioner Gary Bettman held his annual press conference ahead of game one of the Stanley Cup final. A couple of the key takeaways. How about this? Players are going to be happy about that. The salary cap jumping up a couple million bucks to 88 million projected 2024 2025. And the Four Nations face off officially official. It's going to be played between Bell Center in Montreal and TD Garden in Boston February 12th through the 20th. That in 2025. Exciting stuff. I know we. They kind of alluded to it uh, at All-Star Weekend in Toronto, but now that it's on paper, in ink, and it's officially a go, how excited are you or the players and the hockey world in general just for the Four Nations face-off next year? That's going to be exciting. Yeah, and anytime you have some sort of more information on it, it makes it feel, oh, okay, this is happening. So I, I, I'm excited for it. I think all the, the hockey world is. To, it's been a little while since we've seen some best on best, and I'm excited personally to see what Team USA would look like. Uh, that's something we haven't seen quite some time, and there's been a, a new influx of U.S. talent, so uh, I'm pumped. I think the players are, are so excited, uh, and I think the idea of playing best on best, which they have it, all these great young players. Connor McDavid's never played best on best. Austin Matthews, never. Nathan McKinnon, never. These guys have been craving an opportunity to represent their respective countries, play against each other, to try to win best on best. It's gonna be amazing. They'll be so excited, the best players, to have this opportunity. Well, yeah, and we had such, we had such a great stretch, right, of, of, of the, like, Olympics and the World Cup. We had this great time where it was constantly best on best, and we got to see it, and I feel like we got spoiled with it, mm -hmm. where we got to see these incredible tournaments happen in front of our eyes all the time, and then now we haven't had one for a while. Like you said, these guys have been craving it, and the talent level, from these, well, four nations, I mean, all the nations especially, but to get an opportunity to watch these guys, the talent level is through the roof. So I think the players are excited to play with each other, and the fans are, are just seething to see right. these guys play together because the talent is just so good. And the boys that aren't on the team, some days off. In the season, yeah. we'll take the week. That never hurts. Take, take the week. That that never hurts. And break. Yes. Who's arguing about that? Uh, if you're a player, you're not arguing about the salary cap jumping up to $88 million. Uh, there's a couple of guys uh, playing out here that are uh, certainly smiling ear to ear seeing that number, right? Yeah. So I mean, the actual number, 88, is important because it's a bit higher than what was initially projected for next year. So. That means the business of hockey is in a really good place. That also means every team out there has a little bit more money to spend, which will likely open up more transaction, more possibilities, more money for the players to get. And and the sign of hopefully a few years in a row where the salary cap jumps up a little bit. Because I think the stale cap there, what, five years basically going up over a couple million dollars, every team in the league has been stuck waiting for it to move. Now that it's starting to open up the marketplace, and means more money for the players. Makes you us happy. You remember last year's free agent period? I mean, there wasn't a ton of money in the market. That's why we saw a lot of these one-year deals, whether it was Bertuzzi, we saw Matt Dumba to the Coyotes. Like, there was some spots. Zucker where was you, in there you, as you, well. Yeah, yep. Zucker, you're, you're going, you're signing a one-year deal. So we'll see if it, it, if there actually is more money to go around or if it's just more money for the top-end guys to eat up. Mm -hmm. uh, either way, it's going to go to the way, players. more money in the system. Yeah, it's, it's always good. I mean, this is this is a beautiful thing for the players, and we knew it was coming. Uh, it took a little while for, for people that haven't paid attention to the, the uh, leftover money owed from COVID uh, and, and the COVID shutdown had to be paid off, and now it's, it's eventually paid off, and now the new TV deal is starting to pay dividends, so that's why we're seeing the salary cap go up. So it's good for everyone. If the salary cap's going up, it's good for the players because they're making more money, and it's good for the league because they're making more money, and, and that's how it goes. So this is exciting, especially for teams that, that have some room that are trying to make some moves. This is going to open up a ton of stuff in free agency for, cer for certain teams, and uh, it's exciting. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make for a fun July 1st.